both of this pain I'm hurting today They try to take my pride What's sad, I feel a cuss inside See, I'm all burnt out I'm all messed up Here it goes deeper than you know what's up Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl, I am Reese C And I'm back with a another video what is going on Reese forever gang 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 we up in this yes i am so happy you here i know hmm, y'all bear with me i'm really like hmm, trying anyways today is guess what it's story time yes it's story time so it's time for me to you know, sit back and let you guys in a little bit. Let y'all into my world just a little bit so y'all can know about why I am the way I am. They call me, what? Oh, look at me. Do I look crazy? Okay. But I want y'all to understand why I am the way I am, okay? Because they call me antisocial. They call me, you know what I'm saying, Miss Quiet Girl, Miss firecracker you know because when i get mad i get mad okay so basically um <clears throat> i'm holding my phone with my hand and it hurts y'all because i don't have my uh stand well, i actually do have my stand but um uh should i go get it mm, yeah y'all hold on for a second i'm gonna go get it okay so this is better thank you all right, so I wrote down my little notes right here. And um, yeah, so this is a story time. Basically, this is about why I was bullied in junior high. These are the moments that I became who I became and why. I be having my guards up, you know what I'm saying? Why, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know, kids can be so mean they can be so mean it's not cool to bully because bully can turn into so much you know i thank god that i made it through them hard times but there are some people who never made it out who never made it through who couldn't cope with that and i don't condone bullying i don't like bullies you're not no friend in my book okay um basically so I was a bad little girl. I admit that. I was very bad. I was very antisocial. I didn't really care about people. Like I didn't have that. I didn't have like the best of friends growing up. I always hung around nothing but the bad crowds. Always. Um, you know, kids used to make fun of me just because I was different. I was by myself all the time. I didn't you know, to this day I really I don't have any friends, uh, believe it or not. So yeah, so I kind of just stood out because I stood by myself. I stood alone. Um, and that was basically my whole world, you know. But I was bad. I wanted to be accepted, though. I didn't want to stand out, but my personality made me stand out. It made me different. Kids called me weird and, you know, different, just different things because I wasn't the type of girl that would kiss somebody ass or be friends just because you're popular that wasn't me even though i wanted to fit in i just wasn't the right type of girl to fit in if y'all know what i'm saying so i was bad i gave my mama hell i regret it to this day because i love my mommy and her are best friends as y'all can see on some of my videos and her and her me my sister my brother we're like really close so but growing up i was like this just i don't know disobedient type of girl like i was still i would lie to friends family you know i would step over them i wouldn't i didn't care about nobody feelings who got hurt i was this type of person that you had to love but you hated to love you know what i'm saying because you had to love me because i'm your cousin or your ne niece or your nephew i mean not nephew but your cousin your niece your niece or your daughter you had to love me you know what i'm saying but it was hard it was you know uh my mama wanted to give me away i was that that's how bad i was you know what i'm saying 
when you want to give give away your own daughter or your own child it's sad so i will be I would be totally antisocial when family and friends come over. And my mama literally had to, like, have to drag me out the room to tell me to hang with my family or talk to my friend, my family or, my, or, or you know, friends of the family. And I didn't like that because I didn't, I couldn't talk or relate to nobody. <laughs> I had my own style. I had my own way of thinking, my own way of living. So... And I used to lie still and everything in between, you guys. It was like the worst for everybody. Um, it was the best for me because I didn't care about how anybody felt about it. If I wanted it, I was going to get it, whether you liked it or not. If I see that I wanted something, I was going to grab it and I was going to get it. And I didn't care. And that's the type of attitude I had. You know what I'm saying? And if anybody get in my way, that was going to get hurt. You know, but my thing is that I was still, but then I was, <laughs> I was still like somebody's money or somebody thought like $200, $300 or whatever. Now I realize that's a big no-no because -no bills, oh my God, that's somebody's bill money. Okay. And, but I was still, I would go to my cousins or whatever and we'll have like a whole picnic with the money. Like I'll go to the store and buy nothing but chips and candy and soda and it was like, what was I thinking? And it was that bad. And kids knew I was different. They knew something about me. Um, that's why they used to make fun of me a lot. I remember once, I remember one one uh, morning, I was in elementary. This has happened with elementary because a lot of kids follow you to junior high and high school, you know. So in elementary, I think it's where it all started. When kids noticed me and they started just being this rude, just individuals like who didn't like me. And I, you know, but the way it started was whew, the reason why I stopped having friends like I wanted because in elementary, there was this one girl, <laughs> you know who you is, yes, but there was this one girl who I thought that was my friend. I was in fifth grade and I remember. <clears throat> well, I remember that night before my mom had told me the night before school, my mama had said that I'm going to do your hair. But if you take it down, I'm not doing it right. Because I always, every time she do my hair, I take it down. I take it down. I don't know why she'll put it up in braids. I'll take it down. She'll put it up in beads. I'll take it down. And when she told me that, I don't know what made me take down my hair. Um, but I took it down anyway. I thought she was bluffing. Hmm. No, she wasn't. So she didn't do my hair that morning. And I was kind of sad because I was like, Mama, I do not, do not send me to school looking like this. But she sent me to school looking like that. Anyway, and I was hurt. My hair was like all over my head. I had like the biggest afro because I had a lot of hair. She didn't do my hair at all. You know what I'm saying? She probably picked it out or whatever, but she was not playing with me. And so I went to school and I remember looking for my best friend who I thought was my friend. I'm looking for her everywhere. I'm like, okay, I know if I find her, she's going to help me get my hair together. She's going to come and with a comb and we're going to, you know, we're going to fix my head. Like she ain't going to let me go out like that. This girl literally, as I peeked my head around the corner because we was in portables. Everybody know the portables when you're in school. You have these outside portables where your where your class be, and it was a line full of students. And each portable it was like you know, cause the class haven't opened yet. You know, what I'm saying people, you have to wait for the teacher to come through to open the class. So I peeked my head around the corner looking for her, and next thing you know, she sees me right, and instead of running to my rescue, I'm like, come here, come here, come here. She's gonna uh say real loud, uh, oh my god, Teresa, oh my god, look at her hair. Like she like an afro. When she said that, <laughs> I took off running. I took off running so fast into the restroom and I hid there. And I remember the kids was running after me. I don't know if they really was running, or in my head I heard running, but all I know is they start pointing and laughing at me. 
And I stayed in that restroom throughout the whole time it was school. When I felt that, it made me just, I wanted not to be there. I wanted to be somewhere else but school. I started skipping class. I started like being like distant from everybody because of how I felt that moment. I never wanted to be made fun of again in my life. Um, the person who I thought was my friend, it really hurted me. I was like, I don't want friends no more because this is what friends do. I don't want it. It was so harsh. It was so bad. It made me feel it made me feel ashamed of who I was. It made me feel ugly and I was very insecure, you know, in school. Really insecure. I never like really stood up for myself. Kids would point fingers, they would laugh at me. Um, the boys would throw things at me. Um I don't know. They just never liked me. And I never like stood up for myself because I didn't want to get in trouble in school. Even though I was this bad girl, I wanted my mom to be proud of me still. You know, I had this urge of that. And I don't want to I don't want to get in trouble at all. So kids used to pick fights with me all the time. And I would like walk the other way or I would run or whatever. I wanted friends, but I could never land the deal of having friends. Like if you my friend, I feel like you was weak. It was weird. When you if you my friend, I felt like you had a problem. Something must be wrong with you because if you my friend, my friend, something is wrong with you. You know, so I kind of like took that, I took advantage of people being my friend when I was, you know, young. And I would tell them what to do. I would be bossy. I wasn't, I didn't know how to be a friend because I never really had friends. So I didn't know what friends meant. You know what I'm saying? Um, I took it as my slave. <laughs> you my friend, you gonna be working for me, okay? But yeah, so I didn't know what that meant at all and i didn't take it very serious because i never had that the friend that i thought i had turned against me so i thought that's what friends do so but growing up i was this tomboy um i was dressed in like baggy shorts pants i didn't we didn't have the best of clothes you know what i'm saying my mom did shop at goodwill you know we shopped at she shopped at thrift stores or whatever she was a single parent raising three of us on her own so she had to do what she had to do. And, you know, I couldn't wear hand-me-downs because my sister, me and my sister was like, our shapes was totally different. My sister had like the bum shape, okay? And me, my shape was just weird. I was, I was this chubby girl trying to fit in. So it was not as easy as it seemed, you know what I'm saying? So like, I was like a really tomboy who tried, who tried to fit in but couldn't. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was too bo too too of a tomboy to hang with the girly girls, and I was too much of a girly girl to hang with the tom the tomboys or whatever. My family thought I was like gay or whatever, which I have we have nothing wrong with that. They thought I was because of how I would dress and who I would, you know probably hang out with or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? I was me. I was me. You know what I'm saying? And if even if I was gay, I'd be the proudest gay person because I was who I was. So I didn't have no shame in that at all. And also, like, while I was in school, junior high, I used to hate, because I was a, such a tomboy, I used to hate being clean. Like, I would wear dirty clothes or dirty, like, sneakers and. I used to hate, you know, taking baths and stuff. I was a little girl who just wanted to just play and just be out there running wild. You know, I didn't care about dressing up or looking my best or, you know what I'm saying? I didn't care about that. That, And I guess kids made fun of me because of my clothes was dirty. Um, I probably, like, had a stain on my teeth or whatever. <laughs> I mean smelled a little funny i don't know i was a little girl who was just trying to find herself but so like i say that and plus my mom raising three of us i just poked myself on my face it hurt it um my mom raising three of us on her own ow you know what i'm saying you know we didn't have the best of clothes like i said so yeah 
we had to wear what we had to wear. And, you know, I remember in high school, uh, you know, kids used to pick on me a lot in high school as well because the kids that knew me in middle school followed me to ninth grade. So they followed me to ninth grade or whatever. And I had, you know, I remember um, doing lunch. Well, actually, no, it was time to go home. And, you know, the bell rung or whatever. So everybody was getting out. And these kids used to try to fight me. And they followed me to the store, uh, to Aberson's, actually. They followed me there. And I went into the store and told the manager that these girls tr tr are trying to fight me or whatever. And the manager made me stay there until they left. But I was, like, really afraid for my life. Because they was, like, really being mean. Like, they weren't really was trying to jump me. And I was like, oh, no, you know, that was, I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't do it. I was like, it's time for me to get some help. I, you know, I can't, I'm not going to get beat up. And these kids are really trying to come for me. Like, you know, you know, uh, they, they would throw things at me at so many times, you know what I'm saying? My head and my body everywhere. That's how bullying, that's how they used to bully me a lot. You know what I'm saying? If I look at somebody uh they'll look at me and be like boo like why are you looking at me like they just used to be so mean to me be so mean to me laughing at me pointing fingers at me and i i wanted to be liked so bad that it hurted me i wanted to be liked by everybody i wanted to be just loved you know what i'm saying by my family um friends at school my teachers everybody i wanted to be the star i wanted to be the the the, the light that the the lights up the room you know what i'm saying when i walk in i wanted to be that you know what i mean uh to get attention that way so i felt like being bad was the only way i felt like people paid attention to me i wanted to be accepted as the popular kid you know what i'm saying but i was popular all right but in a different form but me going through all that had me to believe that something was wrong with me. Me going through all that, like getting bullied and people pointing and laughing at me and making me feel like I'm not, I, I wasn't accepted, made me feel some type of way about it. Made me feel like maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe the world would be better off without me. Like bullying comes with so many different consequences so many different you know different ways like people think of negative things because they they don't like to be bullied they i mean bullying is not getting bullied is not fun i so that's the reason why i don't really care too much for bullies because it's not fun like it's only a one party situation like only the person that's getting bullied only the person that's bullying are the ones that might be having fun um but the person that's getting bullied not so much and for years i grew up thinking that i was the problem i grew up thinking that it was me hands down everything it was me i was the problem and in order for me to fix the problem, I have to love myself. I have to fix me. You know what I'm saying? So, I had to stand up for myself. I had to be a better version of who I used to be. You know what I'm saying? I grew up not respecting others. And I had to, I had to turn that around. I had to start respecting my elders. I had to start respecting my family. Um, I started being a better version of who I used to be. Um, you know what I'm saying? I stopped lying, stopped stealing. I started to, and this, this is years after school, after, um, you know, high school, I started changing drastically. But while I was in high school, me standing up for myself was something, a proud moment that I had because, you know, I remember I told my mom that these girls was trying to fight me. And I remember my mom told me that I need to fight back. And when she told me I need to fight back, honey, I was fighting almost every day. I stood up for myself all hands down. And I made a name for myself. And everybody started knowing that. 
this chick right here, she got hands. Let me not mess with her. You know, and I started growing my popularity because people started noticing me finally for my talents, for my my beauty, my, you know what I'm saying? Everything. So my securities, everything started just coming towards me. You know what I'm saying? And I started feeling good about me. And you know, I started feeling like maybe I'm not the problem. Maybe I'm the solution to the problem. So I started fixing that. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> So yeah, so anyways, um, that's the end of that. <laughs> um, sorry, I had to get a little deep, but I had to show you, tell you guys, you know what I'm saying, why I was bullied in middle school and a little bit in high school, you know, but I turned that around. But I am so happy you guys are here. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, y'all. Subscribe to my channel, oh why? Subscribe to my channel, and y'all gonna have and push the notification bell so you can stay updated with me at all times, every time, all day, every day, okay? And um, yeah, and y'all come back, you hear? Come back so y'all can see more of your girl all day. You know, um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of. My fashion stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all, this is exciting because I have a lot of stuff up my sleeve. So, y'all want to be a part of this, all right? But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave y'all with that. So, this is the end of the video. So, y'all go ahead and make sure that y'all, you know what I'm saying, <sighs> come back and stay updated with me, okay? So, don't forget to subscribe once again. I know I already said that. And like this video you know what i'm saying because i just don't tell my little stories to anybody i tell it to you guys because i love you yes i do i love you guys that's the reason why i'm letting you guys in and all you haters people that be bullying other people and all of that y'all get a life for real though y'all so obsessed get a life you know what i'm saying and go play in traffic or whatever because bullying is not cool okay all right, so stop all that bullying. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Always remember, it's good to be yourself because everybody else is already taken. Be the best that you can be because it's only one you. I love you. Bye. See you again on my next video. Ayo. Hey